What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for some mail and mail in the form of limited run? Ooh. Hey, nerdlings! It's Jasmine from Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Mail and mail, mail and mail, mail and mail, mail and mail. You know, it's always a good mail and mail day when you get a box that has that lovely limited run artwork on it so i did know what this was it's our shantae stuff at long last what did we order that five years ago uh, it kind of feels like it <laughs> <laughs> so i get that whatever there's you know the collector's editions it takes a little extra time and nintendo switch games all that jazz but i can honestly say i don't even remember I don't what's either. in this which is why we're doing an unboxing together to find out Wow, dusting off the old unboxing skills, huh? Ooh, my favorite! It's like a machine gun. <laughs> okay, now I had opened this to the extent of seeing, hey, this is a big box, what all's in here? But I did not open this bit yet. That is a big box. Now I did notice that we got our little magazine that they like to put in there. Ooh. The little club o fun publication that they do we also got our switch game now this is for the original game boy color shantae game ported to the nintendo switch this was so that you could finally have all the shantae games in one place on one system now have you got to play this one yet i have not so this is one version of shantae you have not got to play you know actually i came into the party very very late at the point that I jumped into it, I started to work my way backwards, but I did not play the very original. I see somebody a little recognizable on here. Somebody that goes along with my shirt. Oh, Risky Boots! I think I got that shirt for you from Fan Gamer quite a while ago, uh -huh. actually. Because I, I couldn't resist. Who doesn't love a, uh, you know, like, bikini top that looks like a skull? <laughs> <laughs> now, real quick, a couple of cards. The old Ooh. limited run cards. Wow. She doesn't look quite the same. <laughs> She's changed She's just, just a little, a little bit. bit. Now, on the cover, down in the corner, it actually has limited run printed on there in a way that's very reminiscent of the Game Boy Color colors. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Look at the manual. Nice. It's just like it a... It does look like a Game Boy game. I love that. That is clever. I like that. And... Oh, it's a color one. A lovely full color manual. Nice. That is great. And the inside of the case has a very well done, artistically drawn and painted map. I like that map. And then there's the Shantae game. You always like to look the carts for some reason. Well, this do, is do you your want that game, one? Though. Do you want that one too? Well, the Shantae games are fun action platforming games, and they have a little bit of that Metroidvania vibe to them, and that you will get various abilities and such mm -hmm. to go back to earlier places that you couldn't access before. Before we jump right into this, something that we got that went with this, but we got it way in advance. Yes. was actually something else from Fan Gamer. So the same ones that had done your shirt, I believe, did a plushie. Although it still took a while to get this one. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's super cool because it looks just like her. And there's a wire in her hair. That's clever. Yeah, because she likes to use her hair in the game to do things. So she can kind of whip it around there. Fan Gamer actually puts out some fun plushies as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I've gotten you a couple of things from them. Yes. And they have just some really cool collectibles. Future Tom, if you're listening, make sure that you put a link in the description below to Fan Gamer. They, they're not sponsoring us, but they, they should. <laughs> All right. So this is what I was talking about. It's taken so long to get this. Honestly, I do not even remember what's in here. I'm not even kidding. I don't remember all the special stuff that went to this to make it such a big box versus that. It looks like a cereal box. What would it be like Shantae crisps, risky bites? <laughs> now is this a different game than this one? Yes, this is the Risky's Revenge, the director's cut. 
lovely big box. The back is pretty much like the back of a game, a little bit of some info nice on the game, on there. some screenshots and everything, but we love our big box stuff. A Something coin. shiny for the lady. I like coins. That is a really nice, hefty coin, too. Nice that Shantae takes up the entire... Her hair almost takes up the whole thing. But she's on one side, and then it just says, Shantae, Risky's Revenge. You'll have to let us know if any of you display any of the collector coins that you get for some games. Like, we had gotten one with the Breath of the Wild mm -hmm. big bundle, and then now we have this. So do you put those front and center on display? Do you keep them with the sets? Do you put them elsewhere? Listen to it. That's, that's for real. And pinned to a piece of cardboard, thankfully, so uh -huh. it wasn't sliding all around. I'm getting Thank scratched. you guys. Good job. Is a pin of Shantae. It's a she, really great 8 bit pin. Yeah, she's in her 8 bit form. That is really neat looking. I really like the way that looks. That's very cool because you could have easily just gone with the typical yeah. Shantae art design, but the 8 bit. That's really good. I like, and you still get a lot of really good detail in there and can tell who that is. Here's the other game. So Shantae, Risky's Revenge, Director's Cut. So that means <laughs> all the blood and gore and terrible, terrible things are going to be in this one because it's the director's cut. I don't think there's a lot of blood and guts and gore in these games. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> these are E for Everyone games. There's a little bit of tongue-in-cheek humor, uh, some mild, suggestive things at times, but I mean, you a little know. little bouncy in certain as, as far as the gameplay and everything, it's all good. Speaking of bouncy, <laughs> look at that in her well, cover art. Apparently it's the swimsuit edition. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll offer you the chance to look and I kind of feel like if I like this one, you're going to smack me. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's our game now. Yep, they're ours now. <laughs> <laughs> and another booklet. Now this does not have the Game Boy Color style to it as that one did, but... No, it's still a nice color booklet, yeah. which is nice. We don't get a whole lot of those very much anymore. Some great character art pages with your enemies too, yeah. in their sprite form. Very, very cool. Oh. And a notes section. Notes to write down any of your notes. <laughs> Dear Shantae, you're so pretty. Let me count the ways your bouncy hair fills my dreams. Nice save. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. The steel book. That is a nice steel book. So this is for Risky's Revenge Director's Cut. Purple. I like purple. All right. So no inner art on the inside, but if you don't want to use the standard case, want to put it in your steel book, go right ahead. And yeah. I love that embossed Risky boots on the front of that. That is really nice. It's got a really cool. It's not really raised, so there's no feel to it, but it's got a really nice matte versus shiny to it which is kind of neat it almost looks like a leather bound book on this side yeah i could i could definitely see that and in the corners you have some little sprites to look at as well mm, nice sprites. little touch my favorite dream <laughs> if you were lucky enough quick enough however that usually works with limited run uh you could actually get a full set of steel books for all of the shantae games oh, nice. including the original as well as the other ones that have come out that Limited Run has put out, and then a nice box that held all of them together. Kind of like oh, uh, back in school when you would get those collections of books that come with the sleeve that holds oh, the books yeah, together. Like the Scholastic books. Exactly. Yeah. So you would have that with all the spines out so it does protect the steel books. I think it was the cost that held us yeah. up from getting that. I kind of wanted to, but sometimes Limited Run is really good about, hey, I've got the game that you really want during the time when you don't have the money for it. <laughs> now, can you get the p protective sleeves for those that you have gotten for some of the other game boxes? I'm pretty sure that you can. I know that they put some out for the standard steel books. I can't imagine that they wouldn't have them for the Switch size steel books. That seems crazy to me. Because it's always nice to have a really nice steel book, but you don't want it getting scratched when you're pulling it on and off the shelves. Yes. And stuff. Yeah, when you get those steel books, you want to show them off, but like you said, you mm -hmm. want to keep them nice too. Now, this is the soundtrack for the Risky's Revenge Director's Cut. Looks like we've got 30 tracks on here. Ooh. And uh, 
CD soundtracks, what do we like to do with these? We like to listen to them in the car on road trips because they're perfect, really fun background music that you can still have conversations to, but yet at times you can listen to it and kind of remember the game. But we also like it because it helps trigger conversations <laughs> for the games. We're like, oh, do you remember this part in the game when we did this? Because because the song's reminding you of it. Yeah, uh, very handy for, you know, a three hour road trip if you're just heading to a local Renaissance festival or a 12 hour road trip because you're insane and you're gonna go to a convention that's nowhere near you. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Oh, looks like we've got another fun piece. Looks like we have a neat two-sided acrylic stand here. say acrylic careful if you say it three times you summon discard uh-oh acrylic 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 are you doing it are you collecting what you love right now you should do it you should definitely do it uh yeah we always collect what we love mm. come on <laughs> <laughs> okay now the boxes that come inside the, the little trays and everything, something really nice is everything is cut out. So if you did want to keep everything together in the big box, it all has a space for it. So you're not just throwing it in the box, having it rattle all around. And they kind of did a neat little like almost picture frame look to it. And the last thing, something cool, but hard for us to use because of wall space. <laughs> Oh, we have a big old poster. Nice. She's just chillaxing in her little Aladdin style house. But it's a double sided poster. Oh, because we get oh. the swimsuit edition. <laughs> Maybe we do need to find some wall space after all. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's what was in that big box a cool double sided poster. Nice acrylic stand, mm -hmm. steel book for a game, soundtrack for the game, cool coin, cool pin. I, I seriously love that. Yeah, that I love pin. that pin. And then, of course, we got our other Shantae game, full on decked out in the Game Boy Color theme. Well, aren't you going to be busy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I have so much fun with these games. They are great. So, you, you know what else we need? Hmm. Shantae and Smash. Oh, that could be fun, especially with that hair of hers. I think she'd be a great, she versatile a character fun. with her hair, with her magic. And let's face it, sometimes with the new characters that are being introduced all the time, it's a, something of a sausage fest. A so, bit, a bit. Some more ladies in Smash. <laughs> a bit, yes. All right, so before we go, do you have a favorite piece? My plushie. The plushie? <laughs> I should have known. Um, well, but honestly, I would say the 8-bit the pin, probably. As, aside from the games, for me, definitely the 8-bit yeah. pin. That's that's too cool. That's the kind of thing that you expect to see at a convention. and you know, I can't pass up on that. <laughs> All right, well, nerdlings, please leave some comments down below. Let us know if you got the big box, if you got any of the bigger boxes, got all the steel books, perhaps, uh, if you sprung for the plushie as well. By the way, uh, shout out Church at Game Grinder. They may have had a very limited supply, but there was a big box version of the game put out that had the plushie packed in with it at Best Buy. So oh, nice. that's kind of cool. If you missed your chance to get the plushie, there you go. Well, uh, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and of course... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like us over there with the Retro Refresh and get our merchandise from Tee Public. And if we like it, nerdlings... We nerd it for... Half blood genies. Purple hair. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ow, my eye! I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs>
Paul, seriously. Psst. <laughs> oh, you hurt his feelings. Phase. <laughs> Phase. <laughs> Phase the good guy. Ready? Yep. There's the sound. There track. it is. <laughs> now, this is the. Sh <clears throat> Jeez. Come on, Tom. Get your head in the game. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Big smiles. Shantae's. Sexy AF. <laughs> bye bye, Nerdy. Oh. And again, she knocks it over. Tower of Calamity.